Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a video XML sitemap. Uh, basically, this is a picture of it right here, not a picture of the web page, which I'll add in the show notes um, in the description below. Looks a little overwhelming at first, but we're going to go through each one of these uh, categories and show you how to make it. So, basically, uh, in the link, I'm going to basically just copy and paste one of the videos. This is a multiple amount of videos here. Just for one video, uh, this is what's needed here. So let's copy and paste it into code editor. Uh, so URL, obviously it's enclosed in these tags here, URL. Uh, the location, this would be the name of the page. Actually, I'm going to go and make one myself. So uh, go to one of the websites. And uh, we'll do this one here. We'll copy the link to the page. We'll paste it here. Next, the title. Okay. Uh, let's put the title of the page here. The description right here. And, and all these have to be enclosed within. Uh, let me clean this up a little bit, please. Within the video, there's the video description, the thumbnail, and then you see the closed video on the bottom. So all of these are within this video tag, the locations outside of it, just to be clear. Um, but if you just copy and paste from that website, also there's another website uh, from Google describing a couple things and what each of the category is as well, which I'll link in the show notes. But uh, this should suffice here, this page, but uh, I know video will really help since I'm making this. So we'll go back here and we are on the description. Um, on this page, I really only have the transcripts of the videos, so uh, I'm just going to kind of grab Of this here. Right, that looks good. So, obviously, this part might be a little more uh, difficult to get just a you know description of what the video is about. Um, in the thumbnail location, now on this page, there's no thumbnail here. It's actually going to go back to where this is. When you right click on it, I'm in Chrome, when you right click, uh, you can do copy link address on a photo. Outside the photo, it's not going to have that, but if you right click on a photo, you have a couple more options here. One is copy link address. It gives you the link to where the image is held online. So we can go and paste that here. Oops. Not, I'm sorry, not copy. I'm sorry. Copy image URL. Uh, so it's not uh, copy link. Any link, you can do copy link address, but not uh, when you do have a photo, it also gives you options for the photo copy image URL, which is the path to that photo. So that's what's going to be inside of there. Uh, allow embed. My particular videos are not. Autoplay 1 is autoplay. I think, let's look on the Google page and see about that. Uh, auto Play location, play location. Um, specify whether Google can embed the video. In. Oh, the optional actually allow embed specifies whether Google can embed the video in search results. Allow well, definitely not, but yes. Okay. My bad. This is an important thing. The optimal attribute autoplay has a easy to find screen like the may pen if the font size parameters to enable autoplay of the video. Alright, so we'll just leave that one. So basically just leave this as the default. And then here, this would be the location of the video. Uh, now I this video is from, from Vimeo. I also have that as well. And you really can't Oh, well, you know what? This is from. I'm actually site called Nine Slides, so I'm actually going to go to my back end here. So I'm running on WordPress. 
This might be more, a little more difficult to get. Basically, um, if it's hosted from Vimeo, you can go to the Vimeo page where it's actually, it's not embedded where the video actually exists. Um, and the same thing for YouTube. If the, oops, if the video is from YouTube, you just go to the, the page where the YouTube video exists and copy and paste that. Um, the original video. So let's go here. Oh, it's right there, I optics. I have the original video somewhere. Um, I don't have the original video. Uh, this is not the best example. Well, I would have to go to this uh, page here in nine slides, so let's actually do that. Nineslides.com. I can't even search in this thing. I'm going to have to go into my emails. Ugh. Anyway, I'm not even going to bother with this. Let's do a different video. So let's say, so obviously, I don't want to dig through my emails right now, but uh, some websites where if you're hosting from a weird, you know, just a not too popular website like nineslide.com, which is getting more popular, basically it's just a site that embeds your uh, presentation slide in the video, which is pretty cool. Um, but if it's just from YouTube, it's easy. So let's let's go back here and let's do one that's from... Um, oh, from, from the video. I'm just taking it off the road. There we go. I know this one is from Vimeo. Yes. So actually, again, we're going to have to go to the back end. And you'll be able to get this link from uh, So I have the I have the embed URL here, but you'll be able to get the link from, I think this link will do right here, um, but this link is actually from the old Vimeo embed URL here. So obviously that might be something where you have to look into that a little further. Let's even, let's let's see what the Google says here. Player location, the URL pointing to a player for a specific video. Usually this information is in the SRC element of the embed tag. Yeah, so basically just go into the embed tag, it might be an iframe or uh, something, some sort of JavaScript, but the, the embed code is going to be there. So for our purposes, we're going to use uh, that right there. Publication date. Now I have this available because I'm, I optimized my page for the video scheme, which is a separate topic. But basically, the upload date. And on the Google page that's linked, there's a... Um, there's a specific format for this. You have to put the year, then the month, then the day in that order. And it has to be uh, two. So if it's even if it's January, if it's zero, 01, not just one. So it would be January 2013, be 2013, zero, 01, and then whatever day it is. If it's you know the fifth, then it's zero, 05. It's if it's the 25th, then it's 25. Uh, so make sure you get that down and that that's all right here, that information. Um, so let's go back in here and paste that. The duration, this is in seconds. So 313 seconds would be 313 divided by 60 divided would be uh, 5 minutes and 21 seconds. Or 5 minutes and 22 seconds, roughly, whatever. So, um, so yeah, so basically take, let's say your video is, uh, you know, 15 minutes and 30 seconds. So we take 15 minutes, divided by, I mean, multiply by 60, and then add 31 more seconds after. So it would be 931 seconds. So uh, that's how you get that. Um, and you put that there. And then these tags are basically uh, for descriptive purposes. So I'm going to obviously put in here, I'm going to put in iOptics. Uh, 
I'm going to put in, well, for this one, I'm going to put in like the speaker name. And uh, I'm going to put in, you know, uh, OIS, maybe op ophthalmology, because that's what the site's all about. It took me a while to figure out how to spell that the right way every time. And then, the, and then at the bottom, the category, that would be for, for this video here, it is in... Well, on my side, it's not the easiest to figure out, but I know it's in the OIS at AAO category, so I had to put it in that category right there. But uh, for, let's say we're doing, uh, well, this video right here would be the micro-invasive glaucoma surgery. That would be the category here. Um, sorry, I picked a site that's like kind of, uh, you know, the term terminology here is not the easiest. But anyway, the points across and you'd have to do this for each video. Now, for YouTube specifically, there is a, a plugin you can use. I think it's just called X, uh, Video XML or something similar to that. Um, you can look that up actually just in the WordPress plugins directly and that should come right up. But that's only for YouTube videos specifically. If you have videos from other websites, um, you know, that's not going to work for it. There's also a uh, plugin from um, Yoast.com, but that costs money. Uh, that's another solution. It's kind of expensive too, but it, but that also puts the rich snippets on the videos. So for this site right now, um, as you can see, some of my videos have this snippet and some don't. Uh, that's because I actually am in the process of making a video that's my site right for this particular new site. So only a couple of them have it because all I have is the video schema. I don't have the, the video XML sitemap right now because I have to make it manually and I gotta go through all the videos and do that. So that's something um, that I need to do. But uh, was there anything else? Um, also there's like sites called uh, like Wistia.com which is paid. Um, and basically when you use them to, to up, you know, you upload your videos here and they host it for you but they have like really good SEO benefits. They give you the credit for the video for SEO. But it is, you know, it's a little pricey. Um, but they also automatically make a video XML sign up for you. It would be very convenient as well. So that is that. If you guys have any questions, please leave in the comments. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day.